Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, today, we're going to make just a really short tutorial on how to uh, create a simple HUD widget and add a crosshair to our screen. This is going to be important for some upcoming uh, tutorials that I've got that will show a little bit more um, about how to make an interactable object. And then we'll make something like a door and get into all that fun stuff. But for now, we need to um, have a um, an actual HUD element that we can put a crosshair on so that we can actually see where we're pointing. Um, so if you're following along from the past videos, make sure that you um, choose whichever character you want to actually work with. So don't forget if, if you were working with a dual camera and you wanna go back to the first person camera, I'm gonna switch back to that first person character that we made so that we have that. Um, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is um, let's uh, let's create a new folder in our content folder here. And let's call this widgets. And we're going to go in here and create a uh, under user interface, go to widget blueprints. And we're going to do a user widget and we'll call this W underscore HUD. Um, and let's open that up. And so we want to create a, uh, a very simple widget here. We're not gonna get too much into widgets. These are, at least for me, they can get kind of confusing. Um, I find a lot of things in Unreal Engine very simple and intuitive. I don't find widgets intuitive. <laughs> um, maybe it's just because I have a background in um, graphic design and photography and working with things like Photoshop. I just want this to work like Photoshop and it doesn't. So that kind of annoys me, but <laughs> um, follow along with me and I'll kind of show you what we're gonna do here. So the first thing that we're gonna do, uh, we are gonna add a canvas panel. This is typically the first thing that you always do. Um, we'll just drag that down here. And this just kind of serves as the base for everything. And then all we want to do is just add an image. So I search for image, get an image, and drag it onto our canvas panel there. Um, I'm going to rename this um, crosshair. You don't have to, but I just like to keep things organized. And what we want to do is when you, we want to make this um, in the center. So if you go over here to anchors, um, we're going to click on the center here. And this is, again, where I just don't find things intuitive. I would think when you would click on center, like it would just make that centered, but it doesn't. So you have to go over here and um, clear out your position for X and Y. So if we do that, that now makes that zero and zero. And then let's make the size something really small, like five by five. Okay. Now it's still not centered. Um, if you zoom in here, you'll see that it is taking the point at the top left corner there. So what we have to do here is um, go to alignment. Um, and if we type 0.5 there and 0.5 there, then it will actually put it in the center. Again, I don't find this very intuitive. Maybe you do. Um, it's just confusing why you have to do things like with this alignment. I feel like it should just automatically be centered, but whatever. Um, that's really all we need to do. So let's compile and save that. And uh, that's all we're gonna do for now. We're gonna be adding a lot more stuff to our HUD, but for now, that's all we need. Um, let's close that and let's go back to our characters and open our BP first person character. And let's um, let's actually kind of clean some things up a little bit. So what I like to do, you don't have to do this, but just to make this a little bit better, there's typically gonna be like a number of things that you're going to want to run off of begin play, especially on your character. So instead of just like dragging things off of here and continuing to do more and more stuff, Let's um, create a custom event and let's call this initialize. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to take all this stuff that we're running on begin play and just put that on initialize. So I'm going to, um, let's see, we're also setting our speed here. Uh, let's just copy this stuff or cut that stuff. And then I'm going to paste it down here. And there's going to be a number of things that we're going to want to eventually do here. So I'm going to do a sequence. And all this is really doing is just making things a little bit cleaner for us. So this will be the first thing that runs. Um, and we could even put this down here. Do that. And then we'll add another one. And what we want to do next is we want to actually add that HUD to our uh, to our screen because we created the HUD, but we don't actually have it added to our screen yet. So off of here, let's drag and um, we're going to type create widgets. And uh, we want to choose our HUD that we just made. And now that creates it, but it doesn't actually add it to the screen. So we do that here. But before we do that, I'm going to drag out of here and promote this to a variable. And we're just going to call this um, HUD ref. And this is just simply so um, we will have a reference to our HUD in case we need it, because we might want to, um, I don't know, turn off the HUD for some reason. Um, and so it's just nice to have a reference to that. And then from here, we can type add to viewports. Okay. And um, that is pretty much it now. So I'm just going to clean this up a little bit just to make it a little nicer. Um, oh, and don't forget, we actually need to call that event. So initialize off of begin play. And I'm going to also delete this comment because all we're doing is just running our initialize now. So compile and save and let's check that out. And there we go. So now we have that um, in the very center of our screen, we just have our crosshair there, or I guess not really a crosshair, it's just like a dot, but that's just going to help us know where we are actually pointing the camera um, for the next video, which is going to be um, creating an interaction system. So we're going to um, create a system to where when we press E or whatever button you want it to press, whatever your interaction would be, that it's going to do something. Um, and we will cover that in the next video. So if you found this helpful, uh, leave me a like. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to drop them in the comments. And um, if you like what I'm doing, then please do subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more. Thank you guys and have a great day.